you, Mayor? I'm doing fine, Joe. Good morning. How was your Labor Day weekend? It was good. Boy, the weather was just perfect for people. Those people trying to get that that last shot in in the cottage or somewhere, but nobody can complain about the weather, that's for sure. Yeah, it really worked out well. We kind of had bookends of the summer. The Memorial Day weekend was nice. Labor Day weekend was nice. Just in between, it was not so great. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, and, of course, uh, the big news this week is back to school. Indeed, indeed. And they know we're ready. Quincy Public Schools team is ready. As you know, the superintendent's team have worked very hard preparing for the year. I think we've got about 100 new staff members, uh, mostly teachers and guidance counselors and nurses and other positions. And uh, we're in a good place. We're in a good spot. Buildings are ready. So the question is, are the kids ready? <laughs> Probably not with the weather this week, I'm sure. Yeah, you know, <laughs> Thoughts will still be uh, on vacation. Well, it's yeah. going to be a little toasty. I remember those days. Yes. A little toasty in the classrooms, too, unfortunately. Right. But that'll change. And I understand the enrollment is, uh, we're hovering around 10,000 now, right? That's correct, yeah. yes. The uh, last several years, we're up about 4% uh, on enrollment. Uh, with times around us have declined. Yes. So does that present uh, some space challenges for the future? Uh, here and there. I yeah. mean, it's not um, crazy, but, you know, the educational experience is very different today. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, the, for example, when I was in North Jersey High School, the class sizes were much bigger. Oh, yeah. So when you you look at, I was 450 in my class, so there were more people in the building. Um, now North and, and others are facing challenges on finding classroom space because you're trying to keep the numbers down. And then you've got a number of other specialty classes, um, uh, you know, which is all a good thing. You know, mm-hmm. we've got math interventionists and literature interven- you know, literacy interventionists uh, and on and on. So there's far more space per student required than the old days. So uh, it, it makes it a little challenging. Yeah. I know that long down the road, is there a hope for a new elementary school, perhaps in the West Quincy area? Yes. Uh, well, as you know, Squanum is first and foremost. Uh, we're in the queue on that now mm-hmm. with with school building authority. In fact, we got a meeting uh, on the 14th to talk about the Squanum building. As you know, we secured the site for a future building for West Quincy by purchasing the old St. Mary's School site, which we're currently using for a fire department training facility until that time comes. So yeah. we've got to get Squanum further along, um, really, than before we attack the, the West Quincy School. But you got to plan. you got to have plans in place. And if we didn't pick up that piece of land... Uh, you know, something else would be built on that. So when you go to try to find something, uh, it's very difficult in the built-out city. So mm-hmm. that, that was a good strategic move. Now we've got that in the pocket. Uh, and uh, when the right time is, we begin planning a building. And uh, another new building coming online. I actually had a chance to, to tour the exterior of the new uh, Dr. Rick de Christophauer Early Learning Center last week, and uh, it looks great. Shaping up, it really is. It. uh been a lot of effort, uh, a lot of resources, and uh, but we're almost there. It's going to dedicate it in, uh, in October and start using it after the first of the year. Uh, it'll be next September before it's fully filled out, mm-hmm. but um, superintendent and deputy superintendent have plans to start to move some of the population in after giving everybody the family's tours and making sure they're comfortable with it. But it's going to have all of the bells and whistles, all the codes and standards of that type of space. That um, It's far more expensive to build out because of the details in it and the amount of bathrooms you need, the mechanicals. Um, it's, it's definitely a more expensive process, but it's well worth it. Uh, at the end of the day, over time, we're still going to save money after building it and staffing it. So um, it's a great... It's a great school for a special population that right now um, kids get shipped all over the state. So uh, I think it's going to be phenomenal. And I understand possibly in the future taking in students from other districts? Well, it's, that's a possibility if we have room. Mm-hmm. Um, first and foremost, I'm concerned about our kids, sure. make sure we're taking care of our kids. But after that, if we have room, uh, we could then take in other kids from other cities and towns, uh, with a tuition, of course. Mm-hmm. The city of town would pay the tuition uh, toward it, so wouldn't be born on the taxpayers of Quincy. But having said that, we've um, nearly half of the cost of that building we spent with ARPA money. So, um, you know, that's federal money through, through the state, through the county uh, that we're able to use for the project. So 
Um, so it's not, it wasn't just Quincy taxpayer dollars spent on the building. Sure. Mary, can we talk a little bit about a uh, special city council meeting being held this evening regarding some land takings along C Street for that improvement project? Yes, the definition of land takings is very different than it used to be. There's a new rule out by Federal Highway Joe that even if you're, you know, the worker steps on your lawn while he's doing the sidewalk, that's a taking. Hmm. It, it sounds absurd, and I think it is absurd, but it, once again, the federal government knows best for us. So we have to go through, we're doing the next section of the C Street corridor from Quincy Shore Drive and C Street intersection down to Palmer Street. We've been working on this for years. There's been a number of community meetings um, over the years. MassDOT uh, is going to oversee the project, Mass Department of Transportation. And, I'm, you know, I'm grateful for uh, Senator Keenan and Representatives Chan and, and uh, Ayers and, of course, Speaker Mariano because it is state-funded. Uh, we met the requirements uh, for this, and it is state It's going to be a great improvement for that corridor. But having said that, the rules have changed with Federal Highway, so it's considered a taking. If you're standing on somebody's grass and troweling the concrete on the new sidewalk, and that's so when you say takings, it's very misleading now. Okay, uh, it sounds like we're taking physically taking land from people, and that's really not the case. There may be a little bit of that here and there, but um, it's it's all about um, it, you know again the term is misleading, mm -hmm. but you know, that's considered the taking now. So hmm. we have to deal with that. So the, tonight we need to get the council to to affirm. Um, as the federal government says, these takings, mm -hmm. uh, and so we continue to move forward uh, with the project. So will the property owners uh, be compensated? Is yes. Oh. That's what's crazy, in my view. Okay. And yeah. how, how is that? You're getting a new sidewalk, somebody's stepping on your grass, and you're getting compensated. But that's that's the federal rules. I see. And how to spend people's money, I'll tell you. <laughs> it's, it's absurd. And how is the amount of compensation determined? Outside... Uh, prices come in and do that. Okay. And as I understand it, some of these so-called takings are just for kind of an overhead wire easement, if you will. Is that, is that it, right? It, it's it's a, all those crazy little things you would never think of as a taking. Yeah. Um, you know, you, you see construction go on. You do see a new street done in a sidewalk, and they put the strapping in the back of the sidewalk to keep the straight yeah. form for the concrete. And so you're and then afterwards, we go in and fix the grass. Well, that's considered a taking now. Mm -hmm. It never was before. So, And this is with federal dollars. Yep. So uh, we have to follow their rules. I see. Okay. Is there? A, do you know the exact amount of the total compensation package for the takings? I don't have the t off the top of my head, Joe. Okay. No. But it's not, as you say, it's not city funds. It's federal funds that are being used for that? Well, the, the, so the project itself is being paid for with federal money. I see. So we have to follow their rules. So the... The initial, some of the design um, was state money and city money's involved in the takings. Mm -hmm. But we have to do this or we won't get the 12 million. I know the total project is 12 million. Okay. We won't get the $12 million from the feds. Okay. The timeline on this, do you know, Mayor? Uh, start I, I think everything uh, is out to bid as we speak. Mm -hmm. I think it'll be early spring construction schedule so they can get it done in one construction season. Okay. And it's, uh, I know improvements. For motorists, pedestrians, and bicyclists, all part of the plan, is that right? Yes. Not yeah. everyone's thrilled. I mean, there were some folks that wanted a dedicated bike lanes, yeah. which we would have lost uh, travel lanes. Um, and you know that corridor. It's also an evacuation route. Yep. That you really can't limit <laughs> that to two lanes and stretches of C Street. You need it for the volume that travels there. So yeah. not everyone was totally happy with the final product, but I think it's the best plan with what we had to work with. Okay. Uh, finally, Mayor, as you're well aware, there's a state of emergency declared in Massachusetts for the migrant crisis. The governor calling out the National Guard. Does that impact the Welcome Center at Eastern Nazarene College, do you know? I don't know, not to my knowledge. Okay. Um, it seems to be operating fairly smoothly with the uh, folks they have running it. Mm -hmm. um, we haven't um, seen or heard any issues, uh, that we're aware of at least, um, but, um, no, I, you know, I understand this is a big drain on resources in total statewide. Mm -hmm. and we're seeing it happening in other states as well, and um, I, I don't know where it ends. This is not sustainable. Do you know if uh, the community meeting that had been talked about uh, has been set up yet? It has been set up. I'm pretty sure it's September 12th, Joe. Okay. That notice will be going out today. Oh, okay. Very good. Excellent. 
appreciate your time as always, Mayor, and I uh, wouldn't think I'd be saying this to you in early September, but stay cool. Yeah, right. <laughs> Enjoy the day. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Yeah.